hey what's up you guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here hi hello i'm lydia and if you are new here make sure you hit the subscribe button turn notifications on and why down there give me a big thumbs up because it really does help me out i have a little talk today about why it's hard for and now this is based off personal experience it's not fact so take it as advice as someone who's been in a relationship with someone else with BPD I'll explain why it's so hard to maintain that relationship. So without further ado, let's get into the video. To anyone who hasn't been on my channel for a long time, I know there's been a lot of new people joining us recently. And yeah, I basically used to be in a relationship with a girl called Becca. And there are videos on my channel of this. I'll link the playlist on the i card up there. If I remember. Sorry if I don't. If I don't, I'll leave it in the description down below. Me and Becca dated for about a year, year and a half. We dated for quite a year and a half. And I've got no bad feelings towards her at all, so please don't find her and send her hey. She's a, je she's a nice person. The relationship just didn't work out. Why doesn't a double BPD relationship work? I think the simple answer to that question is... You both have a personality disorder that thrives off insecurities and assumptions and feelings and feeling inadequate and not feeling good enough. So when you put two people feeling that like, out of control together, it's just a whirlwind waiting to happen. I think one of the main problems between me and Becca was we couldn't afford our rent because she was working, which is amazing that she had, that she could. I, however, only had my student finance to rely on and that got spent very quickly. I went from having about £3,000 in my account to having £30 in my account because I impulsively spent a lot of money. So, there was that pressure that we were relying on Becca and unfortunately she wasn't earning enough to meet our rent so she had to ask her dad and her grandparents to borrow the money. My grandparents, my mum won't lend me money like that to pay rent. They just can't afford to, so they don't. And the big issue was, is I have inheritance money in a bond and yes, I can access the money at any point, but I don't want to just spend it on rent and living. I want to spend it on something that matters, something that can, that I can, well, I can be able to remember my great granddad forever. And that caused a lot of problems in the relationship. Back on the subject to PVD anyway. We were both very impulsive. So she went out and got a car. That we really couldn't afford to run. To put it nicely. And... I impulsively spent my entire student finance on Amazon. I spent a lot of time on Amazon, so yeah, impulsivity was definitely an issue. The next part is I was incredibly suicidal and I'm not sure Becca really understood the, to what level I was suicidal. I'd get really down and then I'd overdose or inject all my insulin or I try and jump off a bridge. Now I tried to jump off a bridge twice. Once after we had an argument. The second time was just after she moved out. When I say I was suicidal, I mean I, I wanted to die. I, I didn't have any desire to live. But the reason the relationship didn't work out is because we were both feeling really intense emotions. 
like we loved each other but at the same time we was feeling is she gonna leave me is she does she actually love me and last but not least does she actually care about me honestly when my BPD was bad I was always feeling like is she gonna leave me and she did leave me so I moved to Brighton then I got sectioned and I got on section 3 and we all know that story I spent a year in hospital and yeah I think the biggest issue when you both have BPD is you, you're constantly questioning the other person as to whether they're going to leave you or not and it just creates tension in the relationship. As someone who's now been undiagnosed with BPD I can say that the BPD really did cause a lot of problems in the relationship in a relationship. Relationships are complicated. I'm in one now and I've never actually met the person. <laughs> I'm meeting him the week after my birthday. And speaking of my birthday, if you want to get me a gift, I have an Amazon wish list, which I'll link there and in the description down below. But yeah, that's all I've got for this video. If you didn't know, I have a Patreon, which I will link again in the description down below. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.